It's funny, we're actually just a few weeks short of meeting almost exactly six years ago, and we met at the Mercer County Fair at Mama Dizzle Snack Shack. Shout out Darla Ball and Katie Ball. Um, it's funny, I had never met Trayton before that day when I walked into the fair to the snack shack. And within an hour, he was flirting with me, making his move. <laughs> and the funny thing is, all the children who were coming up to the stands to get food, he thought he'd play a trick and he told them that we were married and that I was his wife. And the kids were like, she's not your wife, she doesn't have a ring. And a few hours later, he came up to me and he gave me this 50 cent blue ring and he said, I'm going to marry you someday and you're really going to be my wife. I thought he was crazy, cute, but crazy. And here we are, we're getting married. He somehow knew we were going to be together six years ago. That's the story of us. <laughs> Turn up. Boom, boom, catch. Hey babe, it's our wedding day. It got me all excited and butterflies, I can barely speak. <laughs> I'm so excited to marry you and see you walk down that aisle, making memories that we'll never forget. Nah, I love you so incredibly much. Hi Trayton, I am so excited to marry you today. Um, you are the best thing in my life and I'm already crying. I can't imagine going a day without you. You are my best friend, and I'm so excited to spend our lives together. I love you. Damn it! We come together this day in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit to witness and bless the marriage of Molly and Trayton, to surround them with our prayers, and to share in their joy. The union of two persons in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and that their love may be a blessing to all whom they encounter. I present Drayton and Molly, husband and wife.
of him on day one good job <laughs> and I'm just so excited to see the future you guys build together so the only thing I ask is that you keep looking at each other the way you are right now and the rest should work itself out the dictionary defines superlative as of the highest kind quality or order surpassing all else or others supreme I define it as Trayton Heilman, as a pipe fitter, as a man, and as a friend. He is of the highest kind, quality, and order. You two are perfect for each other. Your strengths are complementary. You will always balance each other out. I believe that. I think you should always trust in that. Here's to us. Thank you. I'm sworn to carry your burden.